and gentlemen, welcome back to SVRP. It's been a long time since I've been out here. Big sticky flowers here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm finally back. Now, I'm back, and you guys are probably wondering where's Sticky at? I still want nothing to do with that fucking asshole. Fucking, all he cares about is that fucking Karetti fucking cop. I told him he's gonna come crawling back to me. But, I'm gonna have to check in my bar, because I was towed by this new guy, Eddie, because, you know, obviously I'm still gonna be helping him, you know, sell the drugs to any time, and make my money, you know, like I've always done in my life. But, yeah, fucking. I, they told me that he fucking burnt my bar down like twice, and it's fucking disgusting. And I know in the future, if I'm thinking about looking to get a guy that's got blueprints, and I'm gonna do a little remodel there, you know? Because, like, my bar, that's like my prized possession, man. So, and he was supposed to fucking take care of it, not fucking destroy it, fucking asshole. I think I might go to the cops later on and fucking show him the paperwork that he was supposed to take care of it and he fucking just destroyed my business and fucking thinks that he can get away scot-free. He's always talked about back in the day from what, from what Eddie told me that he's been telling people that where he likes to play those type of games where he likes to send me to jail and I like to send her to jail. Yeah, we did that when we were younger. We're fucking older now. And he still wants to play that game? So that's alright. I play that fucking game. I was sitting in the fucking jail, alright. Because I'm not going to fucking jail. I didn't fucking do anything. I just left because of the bullshit and the drama with fucking Dickie and Coretti. And whether she fucking took him on a date or not, I don't fucking care. Not my fucking business. Not my monkey. Not my circus. Because, well, I should say not my pig. Not my pigeon zoo. I ain't dealing with that fucking nonsense. We, we grew up our whole entire lives fucking getting trumped up and hassled by the fucking cops. And then fucking he gets in contact with a lot of lady cops and hits on them, but finally one fucking budges. And he's, he's fucking in love, man. It's fucking nah. It's bullshit, man. It's not the dicky I know. Not the dicky I met back at Coachella. Guarantee if I offered him some drugs right now, he'd probably turn her down if I saw him. But nah, you know that's bad, and calling cops pigs is bad, and you can't do that to them, man. He's a fucking asshole. That's all he cares about is fucking cops now. Fucking pig. That's all he fucking is. Him and his fucking girlfriend. Because if he's going to be with that pig, then it obviously turns him into a pig because he wants to be with her, so he's got to follow the law, so that makes him Big Junior. Might as well put that fucking Junior Deputy Badge on him. Fuck him. Thought he's supposed to be my brother. Fucking asshole. I have to go check out my fucking bar, man. I heard that fucking it got destroyed. Oh shit. They got rid of that bar. Oh fuck. They got the gas station here. Hell yeah. That's pretty. That's wild. I think I, when I drove to Florida during my escapade of being gone, because I left New York and went to Florida for a while, and they had something similar to this out in their little county area. That's pretty cool. You could turn this into like a repair shop. That'd be pretty cool. You still got that biker bar up here? Oh yeah, they still got the biker bar. It's been a while since I've been out here, man. Just gotta go check on my bar, and make sure everything's alright. It's probably all destroyed. You know, Jones is probably fucking hiding. He probably knows that I'm back because he's got fucking like those like. He's not even my twin, but you know how twins say those. Tell a lot of people, whoa, there you go. I'm fucking an old man. I'm fucking, I don't know these new fuck that technically are the brother tele. 
telekinesis or whatever the hell you fucking call it, where you could just read my mind or something. So he probably knows I'm in town. He probably knows that I'm fucking coming back and he's probably hiding. But now that we're here, let's go check on it, man. Twelve seconds later. Yeah, shit. Fuck. This place is fucking disgusting. It's fucking, it looked like it got burnt down a few times. Oh, shit. Yeah, this place is all fucking black in here. Oh, fuck. Gotta be fucking serious. Let me check the register. Let's see. Twelve seconds later. Oh, shit, fuck. It's fucking bullshit, man. Fucking registers fucking clean. Fucking places burnt. Fucking jukebox don't fucking work no more. Like, what the fuck, man? I bet you the toilets are fucking clogged too. Oh, I, 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 I uh, my house better not be fucked up. Uh, bleh. Bleh. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Man, it's just fucking disgusting. Oh, fuck. Shit, this place is... Oh, I need to get out of there. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Go upstairs. Uh, fuck. Oh shit, this place even looks fucked too, man. What the fuck? Jesus. Yeah, what's this fucking note on my table? It's from the cops. They're saying, uh. I owe you? What do you mean, I owe you? What the fuck? They said somebody broke into my house? What the fuck? Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking. Whole entire fucking. Kitchen's fucking destroyed. Fuck. Let's check my bedroom. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, oh, sh oh, shit. It looks like people were handcuffed to this fucking bed. The fuck? That is fucking... I can see the cuff marks in there. What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, okay, at least the bathroom's semi-decent, but... Oh, fuck. Jeez. I fucking ruined my fucking base, man. What the fuck? Fucking bullshit. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna I'm sending him to fucking jail. He fucking he 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 he, he ruined my bar, man. He I'm gonna give him a call. I'm gonna go in the bar. I'm gonna give him a call. Fuck. It's fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, damn. This fucking bar is disgusting. Shit, let me go back here and make a call. Fuck. Yeah, hey, what's going on, man? What do you mean? You're not gonna be in town for a while. What the fuck? Well, I'm back. You gotta sign the paperwork. Not your monkey, not your circus anymore. How'd you know I was back? What the fuck? Who told you that? There should have been no reason. And how the fuck do you know every time I come around? You, you fucking piss me off, dude. You fucking ruined my bar. That's alright. I, I heard from what Eddie told me, a friend of mine. You were sitting there talking shit, bro. 
saying that you're gonna send me to jail. Uh, I think I'm gonna send your ass to fucking jail. You fucking with my bar. Oh, what? No, no, fuck off. No, no, no. No, bye. And I'm just gonna fucking go snitch on him. Fucking go tell the cops on him, you know? Fucking bullshit. Ruin my fucking bar. Fuck it. Jesus. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fucking bullshit, man. Fuck. What the fuck? We got a 7-Eleven out here now? What the fuck? They used to be a 24 7 Maybe they weren't open 12 or 7, so they just switched to, you know, maybe open only 7 days, maybe 11. I don't think I could park here. Uh, I could park on this side. But. Fucking bullshit. It fucking ruined my bar. What the fuck, man? Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Get this motherfucker in trouble. Fucking ruined my bar. Piece of shit. Many unbearable hours later. I, I went fucking snitched on him. They said they might do something, or they might not do something. They gotta find the guy first. Fuck. Fucking ridiculous, man. It's fucking ridiculous. You better hope I don't fucking find him. Fucking part, man. You're supposed to take care of it. Shit, just. You know, I had no one else to give it to. Fuck. A few moments later. Yeah, hello. Yeah. This is, uh, this is Mickey Flowers. Uh, I own the bar at 296. Yeah. Uh, it used to be called John's Groovy Hangout. Yeah, I'm gonna need that sign change. And I'm gonna need a... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of remodeling, you know. Yeah, my bar's all fucked up, man. Yeah, my fucking cousin had it and he fucking fucked it up. Fucking destroyed it. You'll come by in a few hours and give the place an estimate. Yeah, just walk on in. I mean, the upstairs, I'm definitely gonna have to call other people because they're for, like, businesses. But, uh, yeah, fucking, just go check it out. The business is unlocked. Uh, there's this girl that keeps on leaving bars. She, she's a local bartender that works at my bar now. She left some bar that is a rival bar of mine that was at the boat house. And apparently, that, that bar is losing money because some famous guy quit coming and... She wasn't getting paid, so she left, and her name's Barbara. But yeah, so, yeah, just go check it out. She'll let you in. Yeah, just let me know what the, the damage is going to be, all right? Later that night. Oh, shit. I've been fucking driving for a while. Those drugs kind of just, like, wore off completely, so... Ugh, shit, the fuck. 
Oh shit, there's a train. That's not good, I almost got hit by it. Oh shit, I think this got pulled out in front of me. For the light to see him in my rearview mirrors, man. That shit, fuck. I can't fucking One game, and I show me 1011. That shit. Three? And we don't fucking need three cops, what the fuck? And the way did he turn his siren? Yeah, fucking turn it off, what the fuck? Yeah, shit. Howdy. Hey, what's going on, man? Um, so I just got a, uh, we just got on a wall call coming in, talking about how you, uh, hit, and hit somebody and then decided to take off. No, she almost hit me. I was trying to, you know, the road's got the dash lines. I was going across her. She just, as soon as I start going across her, she turned her wheel to the left and tried to hit me. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I understand. You know, some people don't really like being passed. Um, you might just hand me lessons or social proof insurance. We can everything situated. Yeah, let here. me get it out for you, man. Yeah, no problem. There you go, man. The name's Mickey Flowers. Alrighty, Mr. Flowers, we'll be right back with you. Alright, have a going, man. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? Uh, how's it going, man? Ah, uh, pretty good. Um, so any reason you got a CA exempt plate on there? Oh, I just got this car from, uh, I came back, I, I literally just came from New York, man. I've been gone for a long oh, time. Okay. So I literally then... bought this car out there and just got out here, so it's not really registered out, I mean, it is registered, but it's not, it's in the New York DMV. I gotcha. And then you said this was your car, or yeah, it's my. It, well, it's a car that a friend bought for me from New York that oh, I made with. Okay. Yeah, I was saying it's to your brother or son or something, uh, Flowers Junior. Yeah, it, it was a present from him back in the day, and then he died. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, Dicky killed him. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I can't really give you anything as uh, you know, there's no real footage of it. Um, oh, all right. You know, I'm not giving you a citation, and obviously. Yeah, as I said, person. I was just trying to pass her on the dash line. She was going too slow, and then I went to go pass her, and she just cut that left, trying to cut me off. Like, hey, I'm allowed to pass. All right, you good here? Yeah, I'm good. Um, alrighty. There's back your information. I heard you talking. All I right. actually came up to talk to you about why the vehicle was registered to somebody else, but. Oh, yeah, that, that's my son, and then my well, my brother, which was used to be my brother, but he's not my brother no more because he did a lot of shady stuff, and now he's dating one of your cops. Well, I'm not sure she's a cop no more, but Coretti and whatnot. And then I just left, went to New York for a few months, and I just I got tired of his bullshit. Yeah, but he killed my son. Gotcha. Alrighty, here's your information back. Uh, you're good to go. Right. If you have any more issues, make sure you don't hesitate to call us. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty. You have a good one. You too, man. Fucking pig. Jeez. I don't give a fuck if that guy is being fucking nice. A few moments later. I may as well fucking... Since my bar is fucking closed, I need to make some fucking money, so... I'll make a small little sale, go up there and talk to him, but hey, yo. I'm not trying to sell a lot, but you know, I just want enough. Go drop off like a, a location or two, maybe. Shit. Take my keys with me, fuck. Yeah. Man, you was hurting me there for a minute. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, what's going on, Eddie? Oh, shit. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Yeah, I know it sucks what happened to fucking Tuku and Paco, man. They said Marcus Van Dan killed him? Oh, no shit. 
He was able to fucking get him to go to Cabo Rico? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. That's fucked up. Fuck. Well, I mean, fuck. Shit. What? I mean, I'm here to pick up this, this stuff that we talked about that I might do time to time. Yeah. I know you're just gonna try to fill me out, cause, you know, you're not Tuco, you're not Paco, you don't know me, so, yeah, just give me that brick, and I'll go sell it for you. Alright. Alright, shit, fuck. Oh shit, only this? That's fine. Right. I'll go make you happy. I'm gonna go sell it for you again. Shit, let's go sell this. Show him what I'm about. I'm not gonna get caught by the cops. I think I only got caught back in the past because I was with fucking Dickie all the time. Let's throw this in the back. Okay, so. Yeah, there we go. Got the brick in the back. Let's get out of here. See if anyone at fucking Coachella wants to buy any of this. I know they they get the perp script, but they never get their hands on the hoop man. So they might want to buy it. We got four ounces in this brick, so about five, I don't know, maybe six. I don't know. I'll see when I open it. They're all bagged up already. Go fucking sell them to fucking here. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm here to sell you some, uh, some hoot nanny. You guys got the perp skirt, right? Yeah, I got the other stuff you guys don't got. Oh, you'll buy one? Alright. Alright. Here you guys go, man. You guys have a good one. Later that same evening. I haven't been breaking the law. How's it going? Hey, what's going on, man? How's oh, it going? Should have panicked out the blank cash. Should have started it. So, the reason why I stopped you is we got a call of you selling some weed. Are you selling some weed today? Uh, that's against the law. It is. That's why I don't I want to make sure you're not selling weed. Well, I mean, does it look like I'm selling? I'm in the, behind the car. 
I mean, I, I smell some weed, so I'm going to have you hop out of the car for me, all right? I mean, I always smoke weed, man. I'm Mickey Flowers. Y'all should know me by now. I know who you are, Mickey. I just can't have you be high while smoking and high while driving. Oh, I'm not high. I don't I do not do that no more because I got in trouble the last times. All right. I, I still need you to step out because I do smell it a lot, so. Uh, do I got to? Come on, man. Yes, sir. All right, I don't want to go to jail, man. Well, right now you're not being placed on arrest. You're just being detained. I'm gonna just go ahead, spin around for me. I'm not placing you in cuffs. Just trying to pat you down. Make sure you ain't got any guns, knives, or RPGs. Okay, don't put me in cuffs. You better not lie, man. I'm not. Okay. All right, Mickey. I'm gonna have you step over here with this trooper, and I go to the front of my truck, all right, while I search your car. All right, man. So where you from? I just was driving around, man. I just came back from New York. New York? What we did in New York? Oh, I left because of my brother. You left because your brother left. Yeah, I left because my brother, he had something to do with one of your cops, Coretti, and it was just a bunch of drama between him and her, so I just left. I couldn't deal with it no more, man. Gotcha. Uh, so where were you coming from? Your house or your oh, gas station? Oh, I literally just was driving around. I literally just got back from New York, I told you. Where were you driving around? Oh, just driving around here, man. Mickey, I got some bad news for you, boss man. What's the bad news? I need you to spin around for me. Spin around? You said you wasn't going to take me to jail. Well, no, I said you weren't at that current time you weren't being taken to jail. Now you are. Allegedly. No, not allegedly. You are going to jail. Ah, uh, come on, man. Just cut me off with a break. Just, I'll walk out the back door if you take me in and it never happened. I can't do that, my man. Nah, come on. Maybe if you had just over an ounce, but you have triple the amount of legal limit. Gosh, how many did you find? Three ounces. Oh, oh, that's not good. I, I mean, the one ounce is mine, but the other two, I don't know how they got there. Well, it's any possession, boss, man. Ah, uh, come on, dude. Well, uh, I, I don't want to go to jail, man, so can we work something out? Uh, unfortunately not, man. Well, what if I just walk to my car and just leave and say this never happened? Well, then I'd chase you and then no, catch no, you no, with bigger I mean, charges. No, don't, don't chase me. Just let me drive off. No, I can't do that, man. Come on. No siree. Uh, well, I mean, I, I just I got... I mean, if you wanted to take off, feel free. I just got this nice new truck, so, I mean, I won't lose you. Uh, but I, I mean, I just got back from New York. I've been gone for months because of Dickie and Creedy, and you guys are... Just, I, this is my first day back, and you guys are sending me to jail. Come on, man. Well, man, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have had all that weed on you. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to jail. No, don't do it. I told no, you, I'm no. not. No, I told you, I'm not going to jail. Oh shit! What the hell? Uh, I thought he gave you a boost. Because this this speed up, you never went that fast before. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker, you fucking gave me a boost. <laughs> well, that's not legit. But you said that hell cat, but potentially I could probably get away. But ah <laughs> uh, shit, fuck! It's my first day back and fire shit. Uh, Eddie's not gonna be too happy with me, man. Fuck, this thing's fucking got power now for some reason. Fuck. I 
gotta fucking tap on the fucking throttle. This thing's fucking got fucking like something turned on my turbo. I don't even think I got a turbo in here. Fuck. No. No. Fuck. No, stop. Uh, uh. Ow, that hurt. One time, stem 15. Uh, I got a baton. No, put the baton away. Mickey! I got a baton. No, put the baton away. Okay. Mickey, why'd you run? It's my first day back, man. You guys, I'm going to jail. I've been gone for months, and I'm back, and I'm going to jail. This is bullshit, man. Um, I take it that means, uh, Miss Coretti made up with, uh, Dicky. Oh, I'm still not talking to him. He can fucking go to hell. Dicky can? Yep, he still wants something to do with her, apparently. Weird. Yep. Well, it's good to see you back, at least. Did you know Maybe not in this capacity. A man? Uh, well, I mean, that's what I said, but then he told me that I can't say that it's rude, and I said, well, it's 2024 if you want to identify as something else. I mean, I'm not going to judge, but he didn't like that, and he used to tell me to quit saying that because he likes her. Nah, full-blown cock and balls, not even, uh, not even uh, a girl. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I told him that, and I believed it, and he didn't believe me, so... Eventually, right. eventually he's gonna take her on a date and you know get the third base and realize third base is not what he thought it was. Third base, third base is, is him taking it. Yep, yeah, well, you know he probably will take it. Oh boy! All right, let's get you off to jail now, all right, Mickey? Yeah. Uh, okay, you can let me out the back door, right? Nah, uh, nope. Oh, those cops didn't hear me say that. Several bad puns later. Yeah, shit. Uh, I'm gonna fully search your car now. There better not be anything else in there. Uh, no, what you found is what it you found, kinda, man. It just kind of does that. It's special. It's got so much power. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, you're gonna probably find that knife. You probably found it. That's fine. If I would have found him, I would have stabbed him. Fucking, he betrayed me. Fucking went with the fucking pigs to me. Fuck. So you expecting it? Do you like the truck, Mickey? Yeah, it's a nice truck, man. Didn't realize it was a cop car, huh? No, not really. I mean, I got pulled over the other day uh, in a fucking, like, a, a soccer dad fucking, v, like, a Dodge, like, caravan. Ah, uh, that? He called it the dad van. Uh, wrong button. Wrong button? Uh, cocaine french fries. Cocaine? Don't... Inside joke. Do you have within. any? No, I don't have any cocaine, Mickey. It's... <laughs> I most definitely can indeed. Ford the bail. I am the bail. Well, I know you guys got drugs in here. Just give me something to calm my nerves down. Oh, it's... It's an inside joke within departments. Well, I mean, I don't want a joke. I want actually drugs. No, I'm not giving you drugs. Oh, Mickey. come on. 
You no. won't you won't let me out the back door. You won't give me drugs. Come on, I've been gone for many months. So I come back and this is how you treat me. Yep. Man, it's messed up. Oh, you want to you, you, you want to swing on me now? All right, Mickey. Let me write up this report real quick. I'll get you sent off. Okay. All right. Uh, fuck. Fucking bullshit, man. They just come back. Fucking. They take me to fucking. Ah, uh, fuck. Thought these cops would have some fucking respect out here. <laughs> yeah, I hopped in that fucking video, you guys. Hey, uh, Mickey, want to know something else? Oh, what's going on, man? Your uh, your license is rejected. Rejected. And expired. Expired. Yeah. Whoops, I didn't know that. I must have been in New York for too long. No, I'll get that fixed for you, buddy. Alrighty. <laughs> I didn't know it was rejected. <laughs> it was fired or whatever. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as I hopped to the fucking VW, I fucking hit the gas. He said I took off to a one video. <laughs> 150 miles as soon as I took off. And he, at that point, realized that, oh shit. I forgot my car needs these mods to go fucking fast. Said your car does it, and I get and it's such a hot. <laughs> I was wondering why it was going so fast. I'm like, oh shit! I'm like, what the hell? I knew it was because he got in my car, but I mean, <laughs> uh, I had a speed hacked for a good minute. I mean, I w I was trying to keep the RP in, you know, you know. I went to that car was a little too fast for me. Whatever he fucking did to it, so. He he turned my turbo on, which I didn't know how to turn on, but he found the button and a knob to turn it on. He turned it on for me, all right. <laughs> so I, I RP'd after a while. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just going to crash because I'm going too quick and I can't. I mean, that was actually like, not GTA Turbo going to the menu turn on, though. That was actually Turbo. Like, that should be what the Turbo is when you get Turbo and you hit a button. All you... right, Mickey, I should be sending you off for, like, 580 months, but fuck that. That's way too long. Oh, you're going to cut me a break, let me out the back door? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Becky came back, although he is no longer with Dicky right now until that RP of his side comes out. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.